Hey guys, I am Jason Emmanuel S. Magtibay from FEU Tech BSIT Web and Mobile Application. So today I am here to discuss about the Filipino artworks. So to start our vlog, let us ask this one question. What makes the Philippine art Filipino? I believe that the thing that makes the Philippine art Filipino if the art was created by a true Filipino depicting, describing, expressing, portraying its true Filipino integrity, uniqueness, and creativity. Art created by Filipinos is by definition a Philippine art. Like almost the rest in the world, it has been influenced by the art from somewhere Spain, the USA, China, and others. Manila has one of the most vibrant art scenes in Southeast Asia and is a hub for promoting Philippine art. The Filipino art scene has never been more vibrant than ever in the past several years. The art local communities have produced a steady stream of top artists that exhibit both locally and abroad and whose works are sought after a major collectors. Contemporary art is big and it is displayed at an array of galleries, museums spread across the city. On the street, one of the most popular forms of public transport is by jeepney, a long colorful vehicles that have become moving symbols of our Bergen art scene due to their distinctive design. So, one of the most favorite famous Filipino painting ever known is this Polarium by Juan Luna. This painting depicts a dramatic historical scene where dead bodies scatter around the Colossum's morgue. And in its active years, the Colossum was used for gladiator battles and execution. Juan Luna showed a dramatic scene as a focal point, a Roman gladiator dragging the dead body. This painting would fall under that style of realism because it depicts a rather social reality than beauty, and neoclassical because it is made in the 1800s and it shows the perfect anatomical perspective that the Greco-Roman artist taught us. It is noted that the Spolarium won first prize in 1884 held in Madrid, the Cerisal, one of our national heroes acclaimed the masterpieces of both Juan Luna and Felix Hildago in his homage to Luna and Hildago. Spolarium is sometimes misspelled as Spolarium. However, some contend that the latter spelling can be considered as correct. This Spolarium is often misspelled as Spolarium. However, some contend that the latter spelling can be considered correct. The spoliarium can be seen in the Philippines National Museum of Fine Arts. There are definitely tons of talented Filipinos who engage in all forms of arts from digital art to traditional art and even, and even theater, songs, and dances. I think that what we need to do is to stop attempting to limit ourselves about the types of arts that we want to show to the rest of the world. Just like the people who are attempting to promote Filipino artworks that have a distinct Filipino flavor to them, but rather, the art communities all over the Philippines need to stop being so insular and actually create venues for Filipino artists of all types to share, promote, to share and promote their works to the rest of the world. But because this is happening, most Filipino artists go independent and seek backing from offshore sources and join contests and promotions there. It is only when they become widely recognized worldwide that our own art communities actually recognize and even glorify them in the name of Pinoy Pride. We need to promote all types of Filipino art no matter what the subject and then we need to stop curating our own works and let the rest of the world instead decide our work. That will be all for our vlog today and I am Jason Emanuel Asmatibay again and thank you for listening.